Now, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need yourself a commercial driver license. Yeah, this is my commercial driver license. You're going to need that first. Secondly, what you're going to also need is a truck. This is my truck right here. The third thing you're going to need is a case. You can't get in the truck without a case. You can't start the truck without a case. So you need a case. And last but not least, you need fuel. Now trucks, they run on a different type of thing than your car does. They run on diesel fuel. It costs less to make diesel, but it's more expensive. That's something going on with the government. You gotta figure that one for yourself. But trucks need diesel fuel. So you need diesel fuel. Now let's start talking about how to start the truck. Now what you need to do, you gotta put your key inside the little key thing. Right? And then you will turn it. Now, first thing you gotta do, you see? We gotta go down real quick. Now you see right there it says intake heater? Diesel trucks have these little things inside the engine that, that heat up the thing, because it doesn't work with spark plug. Now you need you need to heat up the engine first, and then from there, you turn it over. So now the little intake heater went off. So now what we gonna do? You see, we got three pedals too. We got gas, brake, and the clutch. You gonna put your foot down on the clutch, and you gonna turn the key, and the truck starts up. So now that we got the truck started, you gotta remember one thing also. Real man drives stick. And this truck has a stick. Girls like girl guys who drive a stick. <laughs> it's a good time. Now look, this truck here, it's got R for reverse. You gotta pull it all the way over here, put it up. It also has first gear, second gear. There's second right there. I put it in fourth biasing. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear. Sixth gear, you go really, really fast. Now, this thing right here, this is your parking brake. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, you gotta pull it to apply, push it to release. Now, if you wanna start driving, you gotta push it, and you hear the air leak. Now what we gonna do, we gonna put it in first gear. And notice, I did not grab it like this. You don't have to be a man handling this. I mean, treat it like treat, treat it like your own stick. Use gentle force, it goes right in. That, 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 that's kind of crazy. Now as you can see, we are moving just a little. Cause I took my foot up off the clutch. Notice I have not applied gas yet. The truck is moving without applying gas. It's not too difficult to drive a truck. Now we're gonna get started moving. Now I already I already noticed one part where I messed up, but don't make it happen for you. We, we, we stop the truck so we can actually fill you on in on this. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. They save lives. A seatbelt saved my life. Quick story, I was upstate driving around with a friend of mine and this other car, he was in front of us, coming at us, and we were doing like 50 miles an hour, and, and he was coming at us in our lane. We went sideways to like avoid him, and he jumped in front of us. We went sideways again, he jumped in front of us again, and like last second, we turned to, turned to the left, we went down in the ditch, up over, up over a little hill thing there, and then we went flying into a tree. And then I got stuck like this, and my ass right there, it, it, it came out of the seat, and I was like real close to hitting uh, the windshield here. Yeah, car got jacked up, but the seatbelt saves your life. So make sure you put your seatbelt on. Now, driving is very simple. Driving the truck really is not too hard at all. What you need to do is basically just remember that your truck is like your car, only it's a lot bigger. Now, right now, we're driving out the road. It's a little bit higher. And just as simple as a car. Now you got one thing you gotta remember too. You have a longer base on your wheels. So what you need is an extra mirror. You see how we got two mirrors over there? And we got two mirrors over here. Now one mirror is for your long distance. The second mirror, that's for some up close, you know, so you can see in your blind spots. 
talking about the engine shifted. No, we're in first gear, so not a red light. Now that turned green, so we let off the clutch and give it some guidance. Put your clutch down, and shift. Now what we do with the truck, you double clutch. You push it down first time, you put it in neutral. Second time, you get to get doubles. So many things, it's how the transmission working. So you push it down, into neutral. I'll show you again. Alright, now we're gonna shift it from fifth gear from four. Shift, down, neutral, five. That's it, it's real simple. Now, but you gotta also remember how to downshift now we're working up. Downshift, you gotta neutral, grab it, drop it into four. You gotta get the rims up so the engine speeds up and the transmission catches up. Don't worry about it too much if you can't. Downshift is a skill most drivers here don't know how to do it. Now on the subject of shifting, and, and, and you need to look at, we can't really watch it, but you need to hear it. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right now. As we downshift, we get the engine up, release the clutch, and it slows down. Now we talked about downshifting. When you're accelerating, you don't want to shift too high, too low. Right there, that's around 1700 RPM. See, that's when you can shift. You don't drop the clutch too quick, I just messed that one up. But look, see? Shift at 17. And now that we're driving, I gotta talk to you about something. You people on the road better learn how to drive. People who drive trucks, we go through a lot of stuff. Like that asshole right there. Trying to cut me off. I'm in the right of way, I got a green light, and he wants to jump down in the middle of the road. Fuck you people, man, I tell you. You, you, you people who drive regular cars, you gotta understand, we drive on something big, something heavy. You wanna play stupid, cause you think you got a car, and you're gonna be faster than a truck, guess what? You might be a little faster, but once we move it, you're in a hell of a lot of trouble if we hit you. Next, the important thing is, know the height of your truck. See that sign right there? 13 7. My truck is 13.6, which means I can safely proceed underneath that bridge. If it was taller, I'd be in trouble. Now turning. We gonna talk about turning right now. I'm about to hit stop sign. I'm not gonna hit it. <laughs> Just gonna, you know what I mean. Turning the same thing. You start off in your gear, and you shift. Spot right here. What well, I'm gonna show you, you gotta watch your mirrors. Cause your mirrors, they come in handy. Now, take a look at the mirror here. You see how close the curb is? Now, when you turn it, you gotta watch that mirror so it can turn. The back wheel does not hit the uh, curb. If you take a road test, that curb will make you fail. Show you too well but if you see in that mirror there i see where my back wheel is so you don't hit the curb you check that mirror sometimes people get crazy you know how they stand around on the street and everything they stand right on the corner and they, they just looking to get hit they looking to get hit you don't want to hit nobody on the street like look at this guy right here see he looking to get hit looking to get hit you don't need to be walking so damn close to the street. Crazy people. We're waiting at a red light. Look at this little sign right there. You see it? It says wait for green light. Now does that mean you sit here and wait when it turns green? You just drive through on red? I don't know. These people who design these signs, they make no sense. Now, since we're stopping and we are finally parked, everything's done. I mean, we've covered a lot. What we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll do another video for you guys at a future date where we're going to teach you how to do a pre trip, a pre trip simple. But a lot of people don't know how to do that. And when you're riding on the road, it, it, if you have a problem out there, then what's going to happen is DOT going to come up there and they're going to kick your ass. Because you, if you didn't do your pre trip right, you, you're going to get like fines and lots of other stuff. It's going to be great. You're gonna work extra hard to pay that stuff off. Now, 
we're really pumped right now, and I just want to show you something. See, I took my feet off the brake and we slowly moving. What you want to do once you're parked is pull it out, and that's it. Now you're locked in the position where you're at. So, quick recap. What we did with today, we, we, we covered how to start the truck, how to put the brakes off, how to put the truck in gear, how to work our way up through the gear shift and going forward. And we also worked on going down, like from fifth gear to fourth gear. So we worked on downshifting as well. We talked about clearances. We talked about how you crazy drivers out there don't respect those truckers. And um, that's about all we covered. Going backwards is simple, you know, it, it's, it's put it in R and it backs up. It's simple. Um, we're gonna work our way up the track the trailers one day. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the, like, you see that pretty one right there? We'll be working on that one. I'll teach you how to drive that one as well. But, um, for now, we covered everything we need for our truck right here. This is the high boy. Um, so, yeah. Now for the end of the video. Uh, uh, now for the end of the video. We're we, we done. We're done. Great drivers. We're done. Hey folks, that's how you drive a truck. Now, before we cut off real quick, I just want to say a special thank you to DHL. Because without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. They let us borrow their equipment real quick. And, uh, yeah. So, if you have anything to ship internationally, ship it to DHL. Because they're great people. They, they, they let me use their truck. Alright guys, that's all for today. So, come back again soon. We'll have another more fun with some how-tos. We're cooking with our own. Have a good day.